Hello YouTube, Hi Tech Lad here. I haven't posted many videos in well a very long time. I think it was about 2010-2011 the last time I actually uploaded a video, so I thought as soon as I got a bit of free time here now, I thought, well, share this tutorial with you guys. Um in this video, um this tutorial is about how to actually end up with a finished length of box section if you're gonna notch it and bend it by hand rather having a fully welded joint or using a bending machine to bend it this is just purely program on a laser and cut out or if you want to go down the cheaper route you could just um, skip some sections of this video which um, I'll mention and you could either just do it at home if you haven't got the tools or just cut it with a hacksaw or a cut off saw or anything which will make it easier this because I know in this this is SolidWorks 2013 um, so far I haven't discovered the feature but the only flattening feature I know is the sheet metal and that doesn't produce what I want it to so I've been searching online and I haven't really found much um, videos on this um, sorry about this guys don't know why that popped up um, yeah so this is the only sort of one of the only videos there is a video I've seen online um, I will post it and all credits go to the guy who posted it um, it doesn't produce the type of style corner that I want um, but hopefully you may mess around and you may incorporate a bit of his a bit of mine hopefully get to what you want so as you can see here that is what the finished outcome will be that well, sorry that is what will be produced after it's bent obviously you got one edge to weld up there one edge to weld up there and one along the bottom because the outside edge there will be merged together as one and that will just be bent so one idea of this well production costs just makes it a lot quicker putting less heat into the corner and you know dimensionally it's not accurate you can it'll be just the same whereas if it was just a fully mitered corner it uh, all depends on the skill of the fabricator but other than that just make setting up a lot 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 quicker so what we're going to do we're going to make a new document press new document up there or press ctrl n and now what we want to do is we want to go on to one of our planes and then in this case we're going to make a top plane so what you want to do is you want to dimension and create a path of what you want to actually do and in this case we're going to make this 200 by 400 and in this case we're going to be using weldments to produce our path so once you've done that that's going to be our center line path you want to close the sketch just change the view set and you want to go on to weldments mine's down here on the tab um, if there's any tips or any small little shortcuts like that I'll post a comment I'll get back to you and I'll upload a video on little things like that um, obviously I don't know everything, so I've self-taught myself this over the past few months, if not years. Um, so I'm still learning myself. Um, 
So obviously you guys may know a bit more than me. Um, so that I'm just a basic solid worker, shall I say. But if you go up into insert, um, where is it? I can't remember now. <laughs> well, once the bottom down here, go on to structural member. Now, you want to pick well, a few an inch user or a metric user, you pick it from there, the type of standard that you want to use. Obviously, square box section, or in some case, you may want to be using rectangular tube. In this case, we're going to be using 40 by 40 by 2.6 box section. So, you want to highlight your path like so. Make sure you've got apply corner treatment off. Obviously, that won't create a fully defined corner should we say if you're going to go and produce it so make sure you've got that box down there ticked apply corner treatment and you want to have end mitre you want to have these open corner um, treatments you want to have a mitered corner treatment which is what it's going to be um, make sure this merge mitre trimmed bodied box is turned off um, well you'll see in the next step not well, next couple of steps of this video um, if that were to be ticked that would be classed as one box as if it was um, uh, how, how could you say as if it was fully welded without the visual welds basically um, so that's before welding should we say now once you've done that you want to accept that by clicking the green tick in the top of the column box or in the top right of the window now we've got that you want to view above just hide the path if you want get in the way right click and hide now you want to Right click on the top surface of the box section, any will do, and you want to put a sketch. Now you want to go onto your circle, and this is just going to be a locator tab which will aid in the centering of the bend when you're actually bending it. So you should want to drag out, doesn't really matter on the size, all depends on the size of the box that you're using. Um, in this case I'm using 40 by 40 yeah. and um, I've got about a 10 mil tab on it you could put 5 if you wanted to like so but 10 just safety really <laughs> um, so now you want to want to boss extrude under the features tab I know this is some of these tabs along the top like surface uh, features sketch uh, evaluate and some of them others up there they're already default tabs which are already in versions of solidworks some you have to right click uh, right click and all that sort of stuff and, but features an extrude boss base and you want to make sure blind set and you want to set it to the thickness of the wall thickness and that's going to be 2.6 mil you want to make sure merge results is ticked because you're merging it to the box section and you want to make go down to here to the features scope box untick auto select and just tick up uh, select the box section which you actually want that tab to be merged to um, you could have that one or you could have that one but in this case we're going to have this bottom one so once you've done that you want to click OK and that one wrong way yeah make sure you check I did actually do that by accident not on purpose but make sure the direction is set um, in this case that's going upwards where we want it to be going inside 
So now that's going towards the inside, you can actually noise that in. Now the next step you want to do is right click on the other box which hasn't got the tab on and create another sketch. Same again, go onto your sketch tab, make a circle, make sure they uh, uh, don't know what the word is, make sure they're both centered. And what you want to do now, that was 10 mil, so I'm going to make this one 10.2. That makes it 0.1 clearance around the tab on the next one. So it gives it a bit of room to slide into. And now what you want to do is you want to cut this time. So you want to go on features, extrude, cut. And you want to cut through all on that one. Same again. You want to go feature scope, untick auto select. And this time, you want to tick, uh, select the box, which, well, the opposite box, which you hadn't selected on the previous step, the one without the tab. So you want to select that, and OK. And as you can see, you've, got, you've removed the line there, which would have been the edge on this box, which means there's no intersection at all there. And that'll be it but you may be thinking well you've cut through all that and you've got a little hole underneath it's simple what you want to do select top plane press control and press boss extrude the one with the tab tab now you want to go on to this mirror feature which is still under the features tab and now you'll see the mirror plane is centered to the box section which is the plane that we actually made the center line on and you got the feature which we want to mirror so now you've done that click OK and you'll see that that's merged to the bottom as well now you'll be thinking well how would you merge them two together in a straight length now what you want to do is you want to go into insert features and you want to go down to move slash copy it's got this little orange and the green symbol with two arrows now you want to click on that bodies to move you want to select ones the one with the tab and you want to scroll down to translate and rotate now you've done that you've got your bodies move uh, selected now you just want to move, um, in this case we'll just move it back, it doesn't have to be, make sure you just move it back on the same axis as, you don't want to be moving it up and down, you don't want to be moving it like this because it just complicates things, you just want to move it so it's flat along the top. Doesn't matter how far, it's just to get easy access. So now you've got that, as you cut, you want to go back, insert, features, move and copy, select that same one, and now this time you want to go down back to constraints. Now you want to select the inside edge on the outer side of the box straight edge and you want to do the same on the other box like so now that's moved to back you want to click add now you've mated them now if you to move that that would just pivot on that one point there so now what we'll do is we'll select this plane and we'll select this plane like so and click add now you can sort of get to see what it actually is but as you can see you've still got the join 
which would make this still two bodies. So now you want to go to insert features combine which is down here and you just want to select the two like so. Now you want to make sure the operation type is highlighted add like so. Make once all that's done just click OK and you can see that is one whole body and then you'll be able to email that off to your supplier or your home laser cutter or factory laser cutter you have and um, yeah um, it may be an idea if you just put a radius on these edges so put a 0.2 mil on there Is it yeah point two on this side so I'll make it one mil shall we say yeah make that one mil like so on this side yep you guessed it it'll be half that so point five on that side okay that and now that will make a nice smooth transition into that slot when you bend it there is only one point that this can actually fail at when you actually well we call it failing because the box actually fails as you're bending it um, it's the same as when you test welds you put a neck in the fillet or whatever and it will only fracture from that point onwards because you've weakened it at that point. This will not bend anywhere else along the sides. It will only weaken, it will only buckle at that one point because that's the thinnest point. So it will always, if not always, bend at that one point there, hoping to get very accurate results. That's the idea. Um, can't see why it wouldn't work but that's how you do it I hope to god you like this video please comment if you have any comments to say about this or if you have any um, videos you want me to upload or if you're stuck on something um, I'll try my best to find out if I don't already know how to do it myself um, um, like this video and thanks for watching